every day. That's racist. Racist. That's 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 racist. Yes, it is. See every day. We have a special guest sitting in this morning. Her name is Mona Scott Young. That's right. The woman behind the ratchet television that you are experiencing oh, okay. and loving. Thank you so much, Ebro. <laughs> now, Fox, you had an everyday racism. Uh, you and Dominican Drew pulled off the internet? Yeah, this clip is disgusting. It's a little white baby singing the lyrics to a Drake song. Listen. Ready? Go. Take a bow. Take, take a, a bow. bow. Like, she's supposed bow. to be proud of that? Well, he did a good job reciting little, the lyrics to the white Now, girl. that's Mona she, Scott she. Young, everybody. We're going to let her go out on this plank and justify <laughs> this little on white on baby on the internet saying F, which is a problem, it's a child. Yes. yes. And saying nigger. Okay, okay. E we're talking about two different things here. Because if we're talking about parenting your kids, that's one thing, right? But this kid is reciting the lyrics. Probably a huge fan, reciting the lyrics of the record, doing it verbatim. That's racist. So it that is, makes it right for the parent to I say, say it take a it. bow after you're using the F, F word. that nigger. That's racist. Did Drake use those lyrics in his song? He did, but why wouldn't the okay. parents parent okay, and so not they, put it on the internet? They're bad parents. I don't think that makes the kid kid racist or the That's parents racist. racist they're just horrible parents yeah but they're planting that seed 800-223-9797 if you've experienced everyday racism call us i live in a very affluent town here and i used to work at the little uh pharmacy and um this white lady came up to me i'm african-american uh -huh. she asked me um how did i like the house that i was living in and i had no idea what she's talking about and i'm asking her what are you talking about what are you talking about she's like it's okay honey you don't have to be ashamed we have a better chance program here it's like a, a, it's a house for african-american inner city children that oh come into god go to the schools and I looked at her and I said what are you talking about she was like the ABC house I said honey we own I own my home here wow and she looked at me ran out didn't even take any of her pharmacy <laughs> items at all it was crazy oh, <laughs> that is that's really high level right there that's she ran crazy. out screaming that's really racist. Jeez. Yo, I love the fact that she was so embarrassed she had to skate, though. That's <laughs> She ran. That, 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 that's racist. Tanika from Jersey, what's some everyday racism you've seen? Actually, I'm guilty of it. I'm usually extremely politically correct, uh -huh. but the other day I was in a hurry and I went to the nail store and uh -oh. the Chinese lady was standing outside smoking a cigarette with like a white jacket on. So I'm like, come on, come on, come on. I got to go. I'm in a rush. I need a manicure and pedicure quick. And she looked at me and was like, excuse me? I'm a pharmacist. I work next door. Oh, <laughs> that, 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 that's racist. That is a good one. <laughs>